boys today we're going to be doing another addition to the baby killer series and that is going to be death slinger obviously death slinger is not the fastest killer and does not have the best map mobility so we are going to be using no for this one i took a whole week off just because i needed some time i did post an update on my twitter if you do want to keep updated on stuff like that my twitter will be linked in the description but without any more delay let's try and do this insane challenge with the death slinger and I'm just doing what I like to do on every single time we play on Dead Dog with a challenge like this, which is basically gut every strong loop on the map. Okay, they've got a fair few gens off the board already. And I think I see a Jane over here. Yep, and a Jake. Straight away, I'm going to whiff on her. I don't know what she's doing. She's kind of giving me a free hit. But uh, I'm going to miss my shot as well. Try and show them that I'm not too much of a threat at all. Trying to get a little bit lost there. Jane's just going to hold W, so that's fine. I'm going to whiff my shot once more. <laughs> To be fair, she almost juked straight into that. I'm kind of worried. And Jane is just running this loop. There's been a few times now where I feel like the Jane's almost given me that free hit completely by accident, but that's fine. Carry on. Just missing my shots. Make it look like I have no idea what I'm doing whatsoever. And then the other three survivors basically should just see that I'm not too much of a threat. Just because I haven't got any tags or downs on the Jane. I've been chasing her this entire time. Here we go once more, Jane. Throwing out the wild jukes, not wanting to drop Shaq Pala either, which means I'm going to have to act like I was juked, I guess. There we go. Learned our lesson. Down goes Shaq Pala. We'll take that out of the way. And if possible, we want to get rid of more pallets, so I'm going to switch chase. Hopefully, this survivor's more prone to actually throwing the pallet down. Perfect. Back on the Jane again. I'm going to swing really early. Again, almost running into me there, but not quite. And I think we're about to get our no head, actually, so we've got to be careful here. There we go. Perfect. And we know there are two people right here, so we're going to try our absolute best. we got the Feng and somebody over here who just vaulted. Probably both going to the same area, but I don't know for sure, of course. Good shot. Okay. No way out triggered. That means that there's someone at the other gate. Feng's down. No infectious proc. Okay, we've got the double reload working in our favor there as well. There should be a survivor around here somewhere. There we go. There are the scratch marks to confirm what I was thinking. They managed to pick up the Jane. Oh, that's so annoying. I missed my shot. Okay, are they going to try and pick up the Fang or what are they doing? These guys are a little bit weird. There's one survivor which I just have no idea where they are at all. No one really trying to go for the gates. We did get a good gate spawn, but I just don't know what these guys are doing. Uh, I think they're just being really stealthy. But Jake, I haven't seen him, I think, the entire game, really. I think I saw him once. Okay, they did come for a save. Obviously, I would prefer to get Meg out of this, because she's fully healed. I don't think I even need to use a bullet on this. We're close enough already. Again, still, infectious procs, very few and far between, so I'm going to guess that they're probably on the other side of the map looking for the totem. This is the Jake, finally. The Jake's actually zoned himself into a corner. I will have to use it. Jake is just holding W, okay? Normally you get a reaction when you scope in, but Jake is determined not to give us one. Okay, that's why we haven't seen many infectious procs. The Jake has calm spirit. Picked up the Meg. The Meg was over here somewhere. Yeah, there she is. You gonna react to me scoping in? No, not enough. Okay, we're gonna down on the Meg again. Oh, and there is a survivor here, so got a little bit of a snowball here if I can hit my shot. The Jane has juked me a few times, though. Nope, okay. She's gonna juke herself into an awkward position. I think that's the Meg. Oh, is this her? Oh, we got one of them, but not the other. Oh, and she got hooked. That's unfortunate. Uh, the Jake? Uh, she shouldn't get the Jake? It depends how far the Jake's crawled. I, I don't know. This is gonna be difficult. Oh, perfect. She didn't get to him. Okay, with a little bit of M1 mind games, we should get this fine. Yeah, there we go. Unlucky. We'll take that, though. First game trying this. Actually, first game. And we got it. I mean, I'll definitely take that. No way out. Monitor and abuse and infectious. And we got a success on the first try, so I'll definitely take that. And uh, yeah, as always, very excited to see the end game chat. Okay, we actually had a pretty wholesome endgame chat. Just all they said was nice. GG well played, horrible map for totems, and I agreed. And on to the next one. Uh, actually, it doesn't take much recapping at all. Okay, so we are on Ironworks and straight away just 
missing that shot to give her a little more distance because, like I say, I want her and everyone else to think that I am just a complete noob at the game. And, uh, you know, we got the typical cosmetics that a newer player would use, the frosty eyes, etc. equipped. And what was that? <laughs> Yui just ran into me. I, I didn't want to hit her at all. And she just, uh, I guess she was going for, for some kind of juke, a 360 or something, and she dead, oh my god. This Yui is, uh, she's not joking. Clearly, uh, dead hearted for the pallet, swung into me. Yep, she's gonna drop every pallet. You know what, Yui? I will happily take every single pallet. Okay, she's now on TL, so I wanna try and push her to the next loop, and she just used the L wall. I don't know why you would ever do that. I wanna push her onto the T, if I can, and then get her to leave. Oh, Yui. I'm not even trying to mind the game. I guess I just take this hook. It will at least go towards my no way out. So, we'll take it. It makes my perk a little bit better, but to be honest, I would rather not have a down if, if possible, but the Yui just gave me far too many opportunities where I couldn't really do much other than make it really obvious that I'm pretending to be not the best. They just missed an absurd, absurd amount of skill checks, I guess. Drop this pallet for me, Yui. No, we're gonna greed. Okay, now we drop the pallet. Oh, I'm getting bagged and... Flashlight in at the pallet, sure. I can't imagine that the progression on this shed is too far off. There we go. Perfect. Here's Cheryl getting way too confident there. Especially against a killer that's performed as uh, poorly as this. You should definitely expect... No, at that point, we get Zarina down already. If we can get this Yui down quickly, then we're doing absolutely great. Not sure where the Yui went, though. Is she still on this rock, really? That's surprising. No egg gone already. Nice play from the Yui. See if I can get around this loop. Oh, close, but not close enough. I think I... Okay, I was going to say, I think I double backed a bit too early. And now we're going to play the game of, of do the survivors have Unbreakable? And I hope not. But uh, we'll definitely try our best. We have to push up on this Jane here, because if we don't, then she's going to pick someone up. So if they have Unbreakable, then it's just unfortunate. Never mind. I'm just really bad at reading scratch marks, apparently. I thought the Jane had went to the pallet gym with no pallet. But uh, she's came all the way to Shaq. And now she's holding Shaq. It looks like they don't have any Unbreakables. Which... And we land a nice little shot on the Jane. We're going to try and reload. Basically, we want that bullet just so that if she does go to heal... Oh, wow. I don't get that. Okay. Well, if anyone, I want to go for the Jane because she's coming towards the other survivors. We get a nice shot on the Jane. We need to go straight for that Cheryl. Perfect. We just got to hope that the Jane as well doesn't have Unbreakable. Yep, Cheryl's here. Maybe a mind game. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now the Cheryl zoned into this corner. The Jane can't use her Unbreakable. I kind of just went for that, but that's fine at the end of the day because it zones her away from this loop and it puts her further away from the survivors. Less chance of picking them up. She does have an Iron Will, but I think we get her here. Yep, we do. Well, uh, I played two games and we got two 4Ks. But his map pressure is just so bad that I thought this challenge would be a lot harder than what it was, but I'll definitely take it. Them being way overconfident as the last gen pop definitely helped me out a lot. And well, as and as always, very excited to see this endgame chat. I mean, never did I ever think I'd see the day where we have a bunch of wholesome people after the game. Uh, GG's to these guys. They played really well and uh, they're very nice at the end of it as well. So really happy to see that. And I had a lot of fun doing this challenge.